Okay, everyone, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on, on today. Uh, this is our Painting with Mom class, which uh, is part of Lucy Care's Art to Wellness program. Uh, the purpose of this is to really engage everybody, a uh, child through elder in a therapeutic artistic activity. Um, we think it's great that we can do this virtually, uh, currently under these circumstances to keep everybody safe. So uh, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, my name is Gwen, I'm the instructor for today. So today we will be painting this here. So this is a sunset piece and it's really, it's mostly silhouetted, which means that we have kind of shadows um, you're seeing the shadow of the trees, you're seeing the shadow of the hot air balloons here, but we also have some that are not silhouetted, as you can see, and what that does, it really kind of, it makes the piece a little less, uh, a little more dimensional, I guess you can say. You can see more depth in it, you can see more lighting in it, which I really, really like. But the other thing I really like about it is there's so many mixtures of colors here and there's so much development. The sunset is really gorgeous. Um, it's just a really pretty piece that I think um, it's very appropriate for the time we're in. It's very calming, very pretty. So we'll go ahead and do this one today. Let's see here. So the first step that we are going to do today and this is usually the first step that I start out with, with a majority of my paintings, but we're going to start with the background. So we're gonna get that lovely development of colors. Uh, we're going to blend as best as we can. <laughs> um, but we're gonna start out with using a light blue. So um, what we're gonna do is basically mix a normal blue with a white. And if you have a already pre-made mixed light blue, then feel free to use that. What I like to do is start out with a dark blue. So I am using this color here, and I'll mix it with quite a lot of white to get the gold color here, which is this nice sky blue. So it's not too dark, it's quite light up here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and mix my blues together. So I'm gonna mix blue and white in order to get that lovely sky blue. So it's gonna be a decent amount of paint, I'd say um, definitely more than a quarter glob on your palette. And I'm gonna mix my blue and my white and I'm using my thickest brush that I have. So I'm using um, my square brush, which is this one here. So it's got a decent size to it. If you have a square brush, it works perfectly for these background scenes. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix my blue and my white together. And I'll show you guys kind of the color that I'm creating here. Just one moment. Okay. So what I've done is kind of mixed a dark blue with my white and it's made this really pretty sky blue. So that's the goal color that we're looking for. And once you have that in a kind of nice sky blue color that you like, then the first step to apply our paint is we're just going to go probably uh, maybe two or so inches down with that light blue. So what I'm doing for my sky is I'm using my brush strokes horizontally. So I'm going back and forth and I'm just gonna leave it, yeah, I'd say maybe a fifth of the way down or something like that. So we have this top chunk of our painting, sky blue. So this is kind of your first step in creating the full uh, blue to yellow sunset that we have. So um, 
I'll probably just get that a little bit more thick in here. I want it to be really thick. I, I'm trying to make sure it's not very transparent. I want that to be a really uh, permanent color that we have on there. So I have this chunk of sky here. So it's just a nice little chunk. And I'm, once again, I'm just horizontally using my brush strokes here. And so once you have this chunk of sky at the very top of your canvas, and my canvas, you can actually do this whichever way you want, but I'm keeping mine vertical. Um, it, it would actually be a very pretty painting if you do it horizontally too, but I have my, uh, my canvas vertical. So once you have this chunk of sky, I'm actually going to dip my brush in pure white and I'm not gonna rinse my brush. So I have still some blue on my paintbrush. And what I'll do is just put my brush into, I, I use titanium white, and I'm going to kind of blend the bottom portion of this blue. So I'm actually taking the blue down a little bit further, but I'm adding white into the mix. So I'm probably going to get it all the way to a nice light blue. I'm not gonna turn it entirely white, but I'm just adding some white into my light blue. So what that does, once you put your white on your brush, it actually blends the blue into a lighter blue as we go down. And I'm trying to keep my lines as straight as I can, but don't feel you need to make it um, so perfect. The good thing about sky scenes is there's usually some clouding in there, there's usually um, some kind of random development and colors, so it really, it doesn't have to be too perfect. You'll just want to make sure that your blue is blending nicely into a lighter blue. And really what I do to make sure it's blending, sometimes I go, I put my brush back into that sky blue and I go over the line between light blue and sky blue. And so when you use this many brush strokes, see how I'm just kind of going back and forth and back and forth. What that does is blends in your colors really quite beautifully. So I'm just going back and forth, getting my blue to be a bit lighter before taking my next step here. Okay. So once you have a bit of white into that blue. And I'll kind of zoom this in so you guys can see what I've done. So it's really just a gradual gradient into light blue and I'm stopping about a third of the way down from my painting. And so once you have that where you like it, the next step is actually going to be to mix together a violet color. And so if you wanna do this along with me, I probably a few of you out there have pre-made violets or um, just a, a kind of purple that you can use. But uh, if you're following along with me, I'm actually gonna mix together my own violet. So this is our first step. I'll hold this up just for one more second for you guys. And then we'll go ahead and do our next step, which is creating a violet color. So I'm just gonna go over this maybe one more time. Make sure my blue is fully, gradually turning into that light blue. 
And the other good thing about using white in this is it kind of looks a little bit like clouding. You'll see kind of these white streaks that I've done. They look a little bit like some natural clouding in there, which is really pretty as well. Okay. So for our next step, I'm going to create a violet color. So basically, the easiest way to do this is to mix together blue, red, and then also you'll want to mix together quite a lot of white in there too. So the gold color that we're looking for is this really pretty violet. So um, to make that, I'm gonna mix together my blue and my red, and then I'll also mix in some white as well. So we're gonna mix blue, red, and white. And what I'm doing is I'm using more red than my blue. And what that does is it makes our color more of a pink purple than a blue purple. So whenever you're mixing colors together, you can really emphasize uh, the warmer side or the cooler side. So when you are making like, let's say a green, which is yellow and blue, you can either make it like a blue green or a yellow green. So in this one, I'm making it more of a red violet. So as you can see here, I've mixed together my blue and my red and I've taken some of my white and I've added it in there. And you can really see that really pretty red violet color. And I'll show you what my final product looks like. So it's this lovely violet here. And so I'm just gonna mix a little bit more of this color because I wanna make sure to saturate the part of the painting that we're doing next. So I'm just adding a little more red, a little more blue, and a little more white as well. Okay. So this is the color that I've created here. this nice red purple. And for those of you that are really interested in kind of learning the technical aspects of paint, this is a really good class for you guys because we're mixing a lot of colors. Okay. So with my red violet, my next step is maybe a uh, maybe an inch below my blue, I'm just gonna start off with this line here. So I'm gonna leave a little portion um, above it. And that way we can really work to blend these colors in. So I'm just starting with one line of my purple here. And I'll maybe go over it one more time so you guys can see that color really brightly. So it's more of a red purple, red violet. So once you have your first line here, I'm actually going to do the same technique that I used with my blue. I'm gonna add some white onto my brush and I'm just gonna take this lighter color upward. So I'm adding quite a lot of white as we blend the colors together here. So whenever I'm blending my colors, I'm using a lot of white. So as you can see, I'm using white in order to blend these colors together. And what I'll do is I'll rinse my brush out and take some pure white 
and go right in between the lines here. So I'm going on top of my blue and my purple and I'm kind of mixing them together. So another way that I'm gonna blend these colors is I'm going to take a little bit of my blue and bring it down as well. So what I've done is I've just put some white into my purple and gone into my blue. And then I'll do the same thing with that blue. So I'll just put my brush into my light blue again. And I'll go over this as well. So I'm constantly doing my blue and my purple and my blue and my purple to get them to blend together. Now this process is sometimes a little hard. And so what will help is using a lot of white and a lot of overlapping and mixing those colors together. So really what we're looking for is to gradually get that blue to turn into the purple. So what I've done is I put more white on top of that area that we're trying to blend. And I've taken some of the blue and brought it down. And I've taken some of the purple and brought it up as well. And so I'll again take my purple color and I'll start to kind of move up into this white area. Really what we're looking to do is gradually see those colors mix together. So I'm taking more and more white as I bring my purple up and more and more light blue as I bring my blue down into this area. So you're really just going back and forth, taking these horizontal brush strokes up and down in order to get those colors to mix. And so, as I said, I'm switching a lot between using my blue color and my purple color. So I'm gonna, once again, dip my brush in my blue and I'll bring the blue down into the purple a little bit. And you see this kind of gorgeous natural mixing of tones here. So I'll do the same thing with my purple, dip my brush back in my purple and gradually go up the painting And you can really play around with the different um, kind of areas. See how I have a purple area coming up and a blue area down here. You can kind of play with it and just keep really adding on that white. What the white does is it blends in naturally and it even creates kind of a clouding effect, which is great for sunsets, I think. Um, seeing a little bit of clouding looks really pretty that's where you see all those colors in those sunsets it's usually actually in the clouds themselves so um it's a very nice aspect to have here okay so this is what i have so far i'll give you guys some time to really blend in those colors but what i've done is i've just um taken my light blue brought it down probably to about here. This is the last that I'm seeing that blue. And then I've taken my purple and brought it up kind of far. And as I'm doing this, I'm just adding white into the middle here to get them to blend really nicely. The other thing you can do to help those blending of colors is to actually use a clean, dry brush. When you use a clean, dry brush, you actually are able to mix the wet paint together and you're not adding more and more thick paint onto it. What you're doing is with a clean dry brush, 
you're actually actually just blending them in together so that's um, another option for you if you're struggling to see that really nice blending so once we have this the next step is going to be to create like a an orange red or I guess you would say a red orange and so as I said this class is great for showing you how to mix together some really pretty colors um, so right now we have our blue our purple now we're gonna mix together a red orange so how you do that it's very very simple you just add more red into your yellow and usually to create an orange you just add your yellow and your red together but we're just gonna add a little more of that red to get this really beautiful red orange here so this is the gold color and I'm just gonna rinse out my brush I'm using the same brush uh, for this whole background I'm using the same brush I'm gonna rinse it out put it on my paper towel and I will start mixing together some red and yellow together so for me, I have a really beautiful warm yellow. So I'm gonna start with this and I'm gonna add just some red into that. So I'm gonna start with my yellow and I'm gonna add red into it. And what this does is it naturally makes an orange color. And so what I'm gonna do is add a lot of red into it and what that'll do is it'll give you this beautiful beautiful sunset red orange color that we're looking for so I just have my red and my yellow here I'm just gonna mix them together see what I can create here and I'm using a lot of red in there because I think that red orange it's like a fiery orange and i really love it it's really really beautiful to see that that red and sunsets it, it makes it look like the sky's on fire almost it's beautiful so what we're gonna do is make a dark orange or a red orange so as you can see, I've put my a majority of my red into my yellow color here. I'm just mixing it. I'm using quite a lot of paint for this one. Um, it's just really, really pretty as we're going to mix this in a little bit. Okay. So I've created this color here. So this is kind of the goal. You can see that. Um, for me, I was lucky I used a nice warm yellow to start with, so that really helps with creating that orange. But I'll hold it up for you guys so you can really see that. It really looks like, um, looks like a fiery orange or a burnt orange is a good one. I feel like I'm naming the uh, colors that like nail polish or something <laughs> but uh yeah it's it's this really pretty color here and once you have this nice and mixed i'm going to similarly i'm going to put this underneath my purple and this one you can pretty much get right under it here i'm actually going to overlap them just a little bit and for the red orange i'm actually going to take it down um, quite a lot here so i have maybe a good three inches of my canvas with this red orange 
And so I, I haven't even, I haven't started to blend these colors yet. All I'm doing is get that, getting that base color, that base color down there. So I'm using a lot of this color, mainly because it develops and blends in really well with uh, yellows that we're going to use down here. So I'm just adding in that red orange, very, very pretty. I'm just giving myself a chunk here. And so I have a really big portion of this red orange that we're working with. I'm just going to go back and forth over this. Get it really saturated in there. I'm using, as I said, quite a lot of paint actually, but um, just gonna keep it going, get it nice and saturated on my canvas. And as I am doing this, you know, I, I'm adding, I'm going to add a little bit of white up top, similarly to what we did during this blending sequence, but you don't need nearly as much of that white. So I'm just going to add maybe a little hint of white as I'm coming up. So I just added a little brush stroke of white at the top here. And then I'm going to do a similar technique that I did previously with this blending. I'm going to rinse my brush off really quick. I'll show you guys what I have right now. And I'm going to dip my brush back into my purple. Now this part is really important to um, blend your colors together. So I might need to make a little more purple, that's okay. Um, but I'm gonna dip my brush into my purple and probably I'm gonna use a little bit of white in that as well. And I'll take my purple down over my red. So I'm just doing a few brush strokes of purple on top of my red. And I'm just going back and forth with that purple on top of the red. So I'm gonna continue to do that now. So I'm putting my brush in my purple and I've added a little tiny hint of white into my purple. And I'm just going back and forth over the red with my purple. And so again, what this does is it blends our two colors together. So it looks more like this. Um, and what you can do is you can bring the purple down even further into the red to kind of give it a really dense blending of tones here. So I have now my purple coming all the way down in parts of the bottom of my red. So I'm just going back all the way up through my purple. And I'll just continue this process quite a few times. You really can't blend too much because <laughs> it'll just look better and better as you're going through it. So 
I'm again, I'm taking my purple and coming down and I'm taking my red and going up. And this kind of naturally happens even as you're, you know, if you have your brush only in your purple, it'll naturally incur some of that red as well. So I'm just going both um, up with my red and down with my purple. So I'll dip my brush in my purple and just take that color down. Down throughout my red. And I just, the goal here is to make sure we're seeing all of the colors. So I definitely, I see my blue, I see my purple, and I see my red. So that's the goal. We wanna make sure we see all of the colors, but you wanna have that beautiful blending process where you can't really see where one ends and one starts again. So again, I'm adding white to it. I'm taking both colors um, into one another. So I'm taking this red right now and I'm going a little bit further up. And I'm taking my purple and really trying to bring that purple down. I think that's the main part that we're um, working on here. So you really want to take that purple and I've brought the purple all the way down. You can see it even down here. So I've used a little bit of brush strokes in here to show the purple. And so once again, it really beautifully blends the colors together especially I've just been using my horizontal lines. So I haven't been doing any other brush strokes. I've just been using brush strokes horizontally. And you can add a little bit more white into it too. So I'm gonna dip, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll dip my brush in some white and I'm just adding a little bit of white brush strokes throughout the painting. And what that does, again, it kind of makes it look a little bit cloudy, but it also blends the colors together, which is really nice. So if you want to add a little bit more white, it looks really good in there, actually. So, so as you can see, I have these white brush strokes in here. And I have them pretty well blended. And so it's not like, um, you can't see the brush stroke necessarily. You can just see those colors as they're blending into each other. So I'm just going back and forth again. I've, I've dipped my brush in my purple quite a lot. And, um, I've just really worked on bringing that purple all the way down throughout the red. So this is what I have here. I'll hold it up for you guys. If you're still working on blending these colors together. So as you can see, you can see that blue getting lighter with white as it comes down to the purple. You can see that purple really blend in here with the red. So that kind of beautiful um, blending is what we're looking for. So I'll leave this up for you guys just for a moment in case you wanna catch up or you need to um, rinse out your brush or you need to use a dry brush on it. We will hold this here for you. And then we'll start working on our next color which is Really, we're, we'll just use a lighter orange. So all I'm gonna do to create that lighter orange is I'm going to add a lot of yellow into this red that we created. So 
So if you want to go ahead and get ready for the next step, as I said, we're going to be creating a uh, light orange or a yellow orange. And so I'll use um, more yellow and I'll basically add that yellow into the orange or the red that we've already created. And it'll make this nice warm orange yellow. So once again, I'll just add a lot of yellow into this color that we've already made. So once again, I'll hold it up for you guys so you can see where we're at. And so the next step, I'm going to make a light orange or a yellow orange. So once more, I'm going to add yellow into my red orange that I've already made. So I will take my yellow, put it into that color that we've already made. And so here's my palette. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm taking this yellow and really kind of mixing it in with these colors here. And so it really makes it much lighter as you can see. So I'm adding lots of yellow and putting it into this color. And so I'm just gonna add a little bit more, make it nice and light. I'm actually adding a whole lot of yellow in here. It's hard to tell the amount of yellow I'm mixing, but red is such a dominant color that you need a whole lot of yellow in there. So I'm just incorporating more and more yellow into this to get it that really light orange color that I'm looking for. So as you can see, this is the color I have created here. And so I'll give you some time to create that color. Basically it's adding a whole lot of yellow. So I, it's hard to tell how much yellow I've added in here, but I'm adding so much yellow that it really creates this beautiful light color here. So this is, once again, this is the color I've created. It's very, very pretty. But as you can see, it's very different than this dark red orange that we've created. So after we've mixed this together, I'm gonna go ahead now and just blend it into my red orange on my canvas. So we're here with our painting. And after I mix together that color, just gonna go over my red. I'm just gonna put this in kind of the bottom of that red. And I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my brush out a little bit so I don't get that kind of red color that you can see in there. So I'll go ahead and put this light orange or yellow orange in here. And so we're putting our yellow orange now below our red orange. And then I'll do the same thing to mix these colors. So I'm gonna take my red orange again and bring it down a little bit into this yellow orange. And so you'll notice that I'm just using the same techniques to blend these colors together over and over again. So once I have my yellow orange, I'm gonna really try to bring some red orange down into that color. So I'll dip my brush back in my red 
and I'll bring the red down into the yellow orange. And I'll do the same thing with the yellow orange. I'll bring it up into that red. So I wanna make sure I can really see both of these colors here. Just sometimes a challenge, but I wanna make sure that I have the red orange coming down into my yellow orange. And so I'll do the same thing with my yellow orange. I'll make sure the yellow orange is really present So I'm just kind of, not only am I bringing the yellow orange up, but I'm just making sure that it's really visible here because it is such a pretty, pretty color. And so as you can see, we're really making our way down this canvas. We have now our yellow orange blending into our red orange. So it's really, really pretty here. So I have, I'm still putting my brush into my red orange. I'm taking it down a little further into my yellow orange. I'm just blending it as best that I can. I'm using no white on this one just because the color is so light already. I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with the white. I'm just gonna keep these brush strokes coming down. I'll add a little more of that red in here. I think the mixture of the red orange and the yellow orange are just beautiful. So as you can see, I kind of have some streaking in here. I have some red streaks that I've kind of amounted into the yellow orange and I think that kind of texture is just really pretty. So don't feel like the blending has to be totally perfect. And the other thing I've done that you can notice is I'm not being afraid to put some random brush strokes in here. So what I did is I used my yellow orange and I made a streak kind of in this purple, actually, just to get some color coming up into different sections, different areas of the painting. So this is what I have here. And I'm doing the same thing with the red. I'm putting it kind of down deep into my um, yellow orange. So you get this really beautiful transition of colors, blue, light blue, purple, light purple, red orange, and yellow orange. So you guys have created so many colors. <laughs> and you can see this kind of beautiful rainbow, beautiful sunset um, that we've created here. And so we'll do the final step for our background, which is just this bottom section. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a plain old yellow for this bottom section. So um, I have this really great um, yellow that I'm using here. So I'm going to add probably, what I'll do is I'll add some white into this yellow to get it to be a bit more calm. This one's really, really like neon and bright. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of white into this color and I'll just fill in the bottom here 
And I'll do the same thing with blending it. I wanna add some of this light yellow coming up and some of the 